Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. And it is the 4th of July, and we're here at the Mattapoisett Road Race in Mattapoisett, Massachusetts. And it is early. I mean, it's about 8.15. The race starts at uh, 9. So people are just starting to gather, and it's a gloomy day. They're saying a chance, a real good chance of rain. And uh, it's spitting a little bit right now, but we're not going to let that dampen our spirits. Um, I know last year I didn't run this race because I was on Nantucket and I was so sad. So I'm very glad to be here and I'm probably not going to film a lot. I just wanted to, you know, share a little bit of the taste and smell and sounds with you a little bit here on uh, the 4th of July. Happy birthday to America and to everybody watching. And, um, you know, here's to uh, hopefully a good race. I'm just hoping to do it in under an hour. It's five miles, mostly flat. There's two hills, one long, one short. And, uh... I'll be happy if it's under an hour. And uh, so anyway, from New England, it's John from The Boy. Thanks for joining me once again on Run New England. Just to give you an idea, there's the uh, gazebo and everything. You just come right over here and here's the water. Some dinghies lined up. And it is definitely high tide. This is about as high as the water line gets. I oh, wish it was a nicer day. Yeah, maybe 40. Okay, well, it's about 20 minutes before start. Things are starting to pick up, and there's starting to be some noise going on, and it's starting to get some excitement going, and it looks like the weather's going to hold out. It's getting a little brighter. Here comes our little warm up. Sorry about the long lines for the bathrooms. Uh, there are, again, the men's room on the other side has there's a couple of long lines for the bathrooms. The the, <laughs> no uh, need to apologize, right? I so hope there's bananas left at the end. I hope you guys are using a lot, utilizing it. Um, we're going to try to start at 9 o'clock and maybe a few seconds after that. Little history of that flagpole. That was the mast of the last whaling boat that was uh, built in our harbor here. It was called the Wanderer. I don't remember when it was built. 1850 or some 18 something. And the uh, the boat uh, uh, was built here. That was a big part of the uh, economy here in the 1800s. And then um, that was the last one built. And our little local newspaper is now called the Wanderer. And that flagpole is actually part of the mast of that boat, so it's kind of a... Kind of it's Chris Ru uh, Russell from the Run Run Live podcast, everybody, and... There's mile markers. There's, he's telling us about the course. Mile markers? Uh, How many? Water stubs? <laughs> Probably two or three. Hey, Chris is winding up his podcast at episode 250, so I think we should all write in or call in. What's your call-in number? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he does. It's on the website. I'll put it up right here. It'll be scrolling <laughs> along the bottom right here. So, Chris Russell, good to see you. Hey, John, good luck. Thanks. Say hello, and Aubrey. Hi. <laughs> Say hello to everybody at the Run New England podcast here, filming live. Hi. How are you guys? I hope I don't puke today. All right. I'll be right in front of you then. Yeah. Um, okay. Trying to stay ahead of you. Good idea. All right. I'll be right behind. You guys coming to the house for the uh, after party? I didn't know about it. You know, you got to check my Facebook page once in a while. Yeah, come on over for a cold one and a hot dog. All right, any time predictions? Uh, Just to finish? Finish, finish. Under finish. an hour. All right, under an hour. <laughs> under an hour would be good for me. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> yeah, you, quit laughing at me. Hey, we're just hoping to run the whole thing and not stop. Well, there's Speed nothing wrong with walking. Two times for this. Oh, well, you're... in the past, like, year. <laughs> <laughs> you're in good All shape. Right. You'll do fine. All right. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Chris Russell, always encouraging people. He just never stops. It's so great to see him down here in the point. So anyway, we are starting. The rain is holding off. That's good. Well, judging by the number of heads down that hill, 
I'm gonna guess that I'm not winning. But being out here, starting the 4th of July on a great day like this, running five miles is definitely a way to be a winner. I've gotten that one and tripling the size of it. Good support right here. This is where we turn and go around to the lighthouse and uh, we see all the faster people who have already rounded the lighthouse. Oh, these are nice little cones. So, we'll all be waiting for us at the finish line. And there's the lighthouse, the prettiest, prettiest part of the run right now. I'm gonna go around and get water on the other side of it. Here we come to round three. 32 minutes. I'm okay with that pace. These hydrangeas are so beautiful. It's a beautiful home. Very uh, common in New England. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't think it's a runner. Cool. It's all the shirts. How many years do those shirts go back? It's all the race shirts. Okay, 42, 43 minutes at mile four. I'm happy with that. Chris Russell, how are ya? Chris Russell, so good to see him. He's such a great guy. I know he wishes he was out running, but He's got plantar fasciitis in his foot and he's really just been trying everything, but it's just not working. So we all, all wish him the best. Call his call in number and I'll post the number right here. Call him and wish him the best as he's beginning to wind down his podcast, Run Run Live. And buy his ebook too, Mid Packers Lament. It's great. Yeah, that's not good. Run her down right at the finish. That's what we had heard. I'm kicking. This is all I got. See those heels. <laughs> That's it. 52, 55. Oh, thank you. Nice race, nice race. 52, 55. I'll take that. Yeah. 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 Y